You know, for a movie with such a compelling trailer and starring Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, Jared Leto, you would think this would be one of the year's best movies. Wrong. Watching the trailer and knowing nothing else until you press play on the movie, that experience is way better than actually watching this movie. It looks good, it sounds good, the performances are good to decent. Denzel Washington is in ordinary form, but not bad. Which could be said about all of the performances within this movie, really. Jared Leto is creepy as fuck, but not in a iconic or substantial way. For a movie that's so loud, it really doesn't have much to say. Literally, the movie could be summed up as Denzel Washington's character accidentally makes a fuck up in the past, it gets covered up, years later, Jared Leto is the villain, and the movie tries to make you think differently, and he gets taken down in the stupidest way possible, and we get confirmation that he was definitely our guy in the end, I think. And then the movie just ends in credits. There's nothing, there's nothing extra extraordinary about this movie. Everything is good or decent and the ending is just pure meh and kind of feels like just some lame ripoff of Fincher's Seven or something like that. Was I the only one expecting Denzel Washington to have been the killer the whole time? Am I the only one that was waiting for seismic, mind-blowing revelations or plot twists that never came? Even a simple little good movie like Anthony Hopkins, Ryan Gosling's Frac Fracture is way, way, way better than this flimsy movie. This movie is held together by its good to decent performances from Denzel, Rami, and Jared, and nothing else. Everything else about the movie is forgettable or reminds you of better movies. And also, the movie is full of characters exhibiting extre extremely weird mannerisms that make the movie just feel a bit off. Denzel talking to dead people or dead people talking to him or looking at him or a movie that doesn't really go anywhere. It's weird that he has such odd behaviors and complexity. Rami's character is the most stereotypical character of this kind that I've seen in a while. And like Rami, you know, Rami Malek's performance aside, what is even interesting about his character? Jared Leto's creepy, but it's so obvious that he's the killer from the get-go that it's almost like, what was the point of making this goddamn thing two hours long? Had I known that the story was going to be so thin, so uninteresting, so unmind blowing I would have skipped it and recommended that it had been made into a 30 minute short film instead. I'm sure there'll be some people in the audience who will be like, but dude, you totally missed this Easter egg or dude, you totally missed this connection. When Jared Leto isn't being creepy or when you're not wondering if Denzel's classic mannerisms are going to lead us anywhere mind blowing, Pretty much everything outside of those two things is surprisingly boring, oddly familiar, and just meh. Also, they are trying so hard to go for a great minimalistic ending, like the one that could be found at the tail end of Denis Villeneuve's Prisoners, which is a movie that I love, which has a great ending. But this movie fails there too. So much potential, what happened? I'm feeling a five. Um, I'm feeling a five out of 10.